perfect size bag. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is the Topo or Topo, typically Topo, uh, Mountaineer briefcase bag. It's sensational. Okay, I'll do a little Vanna White for you. Isn't it lovely, Tim? I don't know who Tim is, but uh, this is starting to hurt my wrist. I used this bag exclusively for a little less than a year and absolutely loved it. Let me show you what's inside, the, how the bag works. Let's show the parts. Let's see the compartments. Okay, so first of all, uh, this little bit on the outside, these, uh, they, this is like this Kelty sort of like, you know, yeah, I was eating some porridge on Kilimanjaro uh, last November, and luckily I, had, I could put my little carabiner right in, I don't know, it's an accessory strap, uh, which I like, it just gets that kind of cool look. I've never once put an accessory in there. In this little bit here, this is like sort of your main accessories pocket. All right, let's check it out. Uh, you can see it's just one big, open sort of flap here. It's just one massive flap. We got a lot of flappiness. There's two uh, flaps here, and if you are real careful up here, she likes that one. I just throw a bunch of stuff in, and it's all kind of crumpled together. That's, that's a little bit of the bummer with this bag, is that this one main compartment for accessories, it all just gets thrown together. And as you can see, this is all bulky stuff. You know, my computer charger, these headphones get, get, are in there. This is my one complaint about this bag is that everything's so streamlined, uh, which is kind of, which is nice. Again, this is like, a, what do you, what, what kind of guy are you gonna be? Do you like this, this streamlined sort of thing? Uh, but it's so streamlined that uh, like just the bulky stuff, it's almost like I just wanted like one little like pouch out here that I could just, hey, the headphones and, and something else bulky, we could throw it in there and it's not gonna get squashed. Let's get on the inside here of the main compartment. Well, before we do that, listen to it. It's got these huge, big ol' YKK zippers on it that are, um, unlike other big zippers, these are actually smooth from the start. Other big zippers, like they take some time to build, to, to wear them down. These are this great, like they're they're smooth and, and simple from the start. I love uh, I love the sound of them, and it just it actually has a really satisfying feel to pull on it. Cordura, nylon something something, um, and we have the straps in the back. Okay, this is a backpack strap. Look at this thing. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> I have Psych 101 too. You can see the backpack has like a, a it, it's nice, it's small. It's small, I normally was one strap in it just cause uh, who wants to be the two strap kid? You know what I mean? The form factor is great. I hike it up kind of a little bit cause I like to pretend that I'm in an emo band. I actually use these backpack straps all the time. You can, you can pull them out you know, with these little clips and shove the whole thing right inside here, which is a little bit awkward but it does work, it works fine. It's, it's a weird, the padding thing goes further than this, so it's always gonna be a little bit bunched up in there, but then you get the sort of like that that look. I was worried that the clips were gonna come off. I was always worried that like, as I slung my computer and my whole, my whole life around like this, and it's just that little guy. That little guy is the only thing that's holding my near and dears to me. But it never came off, it never it never came unclipped. So that's the outside of the bag, Cordura. I wish it had, a, I, I liked it, to be to be frank. I really liked it because it kind of does look like that, you know, 70s Kelty something or other. If you want to go to a business meeting in Boulder, like this is the way, this is the way to, to show up with something like this. But I did, I did eventually find myself going like, I kind of want a little bit more of a grown up look in some ways, which is just me having an identity crisis every other way, it's in, my whole life's a nightmare. One little note, um, on the computer bit, the, the computer pouch, the pooch on the computer is a little bit tight, so I always had to do this. Pull back the lip, access the shit. <laughs> so that little bit of just like pulling that back and putting it in, it's just, it's a tight fit, um, it, and it, you can't get to it if you don't pull that lip back. But once you're inside, it's pretty self-explanatory and you could fit a lot of stuff. Got your 
journal, maybe a couple books on screenwriting. You know, you might want to do something like that with your life, your terrible, no good, lousy, rotten life. And then just a very simple organizer here. I got my sunglasses, a couple pens, pencils, uh, field notes, and, and that's that's it. Again, really sleek and slim lined in here. So this stuff is it kind of keeps it all off the wall, which is great. Plenty of room to get in there and kind of uh, and throw whatever you need to in here. Again, uh, like room for this stuff. You could always travel with a water bottle and stuff like like that. And it gets cramped. It does get cramped, but but you got everything you need in this tiny little compartment. Go fast right on the end up at the top there. So that is the Topo, Topo uh, Mountaineer, Mountain Briefcase thing. I, one of my favorite size bags. I was really surprised how much I loved the smaller form factor of this one. The Cordura is gonna last a really long time. It has that aesthetic like you might have one of those old backpacks with like the out, the, the metal frame on the back. You know what I mean? Like you can see the whole thing. Like you, then you might have like a, you know, like a Sherpa, like a Patagonia Sherpa gear where it's like from the, from the 70s and you're just like, you know, sun, you have the blisters on your lips and, and like sun spots and, and clear, kind of glassy, kind of glassy eyes because the altitude sort of screwed with you. Up there this bag kind of looks like you might have that kind of stuff going on true story I used to travel with this thing like this all the time uh, whenever I would because I have like my big Patagonia duffel on my back and then I would seriously just hi guys you want to go to the I oh, was this great I'm hands-free I'd sit at a urinal like this I can't see I can't see I can I, I have a very small member in the first house so so just I'm just hoping to God <laughs> that I'm pointing in the right direction there's no like I don't know, there's nothing I'm being on right now, you know? But I, I would walk, I walked through many an airport with this Patagonia duffel on my back. I'm sure I looked ridiculous, as I probably do now, but it feels really comfortable. And you've got everything you need on your back and your chest. Little handle up top ends up being ridiculously helpful. Uh, the Topo guys, I don't know how you decided to do that, but that ends up being, uh, use it all the time. Speaking of handles, the, the handle actually isn't very comfortable. I feel like uh, making the handle out of something like a leather or, or just putting some sort of, uh, covering it with something. Patagonia's duffels has these has these great, and a lot of bags are doing this now with these padded handles, but then your, your aesthetic's kind of messed up. It doesn't look look quite like it fits the bag. But I did find that this, like af after just a very short amount of time, it's just like a, a harsh kind of feeling. It doesn't feel very secure. It doesn't feel very comfortable. But that's that, and then uh, the the bit that like, you know, things get smushed in here are my one, are my only two drawbacks. No place to put like the real, the real uh, bul bulky stuff. But I love this bag. I love the size of it. It's real sleek, slim, um, and small, uh, slimy. It's super. And sometimes uh, it is, s I'm, I'm, I lost, I blanked. Topo Mountain Briefcase. This is a great bag, great company. Colorado, uh, made in America. They have a bunch of other backpacks as well. Well-made stuff. And they get the seal of approval, if only for this. We're looking at the Filson 72 hour briefcase thing. Now, uh, a couple caveats here. I am not an angler. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have uh, f fishing things. I don't, uh, I don't hunt or peck. I don't, uh, I don't, uh, 